What's up, guys? How y'all doing? My name is Eric Kuto, aka The Juice Man, and I want to tell you about juicing, right? But I also want to tell you my story of how I almost died from mold poisoning. So, pretty much simple story, man. I was living in California at the time. I was experiencing hardships, man. I was, I didn't want to live in my car. So I figured if I go home, you know, things would be a lot better. I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. And when I went home, I decided to become a teacher. I, I love kids. You know, I even run a nonprofit. We'll get into that later. But pretty much um, I'm teaching at a school in New Orleans East that I'm going to remain nameless. I'm going to leave it nameless because they don't want no smoke. They, you know, it's a wild situation. But either way, I'm teaching at the school, right? And man, I started in September 2019, right before the pandemic. By November, I'm starting to teach, you know, fifth grade boys basketball. And I'm noticing that my body is slower for some reason. I'm noticing that my chest hurts. I'm noticing that I'm having all these symptoms. But the one thing that let me know that something was really wrong was that I could feel the pain migrating, but not just migrating in a way where it spread. It was actually moving. Like I could feel something literally moving in my body. And so from November to December, January, February, March, April, and even until May, I pretty much dealt with ailments, man. I had uh, high blood pressure. They told me I was pre-diabetes. Um, in addition, I was having hair fall out, alopecia. Uh, you know, I had bowel issues. I couldn't keep food down. My stomach was always hurting. I was getting headaches and on and on and on. The symptoms were so crazy. I wish it on nobody, not even uh, dark people, you know, but it was, a, it was a really tough time. And so in that moment, um, I just kept asking for help. You know, as much as we don't ask for help, especially as men, especially as, you know, brothers, um, I asked for help and I just kept kept pleading with help. And I'm so proud to say that, you know, my partner, um, she pretty much looked for toxicologists because normal doctors kept saying, you're fine. You know, maybe you need to think about looking into some mental medicine because everything on your chart seems fine. And I'm like, man, something is wrong. Like something is really, really wrong. And so my partner listened to me and she found a toxicologist and I'm very grateful for Joe Mather. I'm very, very grateful for him. But um, he put me up to a toxicology test and it came back that I had two deadly moles with mycotoxins in them. And if you know what mycotoxins are, they're deadly things in mold that can kill you. And so when I got the news, I was scared beyond belief. The ailments were getting worse. And, you know, during this time, a full blown pandemic was taking place. So, you know, people thought they saw me losing weight. I lost like... Man, I, I went from 222 pounds to 150 in a matter of a month and a half. So people thought I was just withering away. I thought I was about to die. Like it, it was really, really crazy, right? So when we uh, talked to Dr. Joe Mather, he's telling us, uh, you know, hey, you may have been mold poisoned. Tests come back, mold off the charts. So at this point, I understand I have a long battle ahead. My kidneys are inflamed. My uh, liver is inflamed. My whole body as an organ is just like panicking, shutting down craziest symptoms ever and in that time i started eating healthier i started going straight vegan alkaline diet i wasn't i would i didn't even want to cook food i was so scared and the greatest thing about it was i started reading up about juice and i started understanding the methods that dr sebi was using right and pretty much i found the low grade juicer like 50 bucks and i just started trying it man i just started trying it because i understood that by juicing you're getting the liquid form of you know like vitamins minerals nutrients and it goes straight to the cells so you know your cells replicate they break down and they create new cells and in these new cells the juices are just feeding them feeding them so your body gets like strong you know what i'm saying and you know it just was it was a crazy time but finding juicing i started juicing the thing about the lower quality juices uh juicers i'm sorry they only yield like 40 to 50 percent of the juice that you get so I was working with that and um, I made the juices and I started to notice that my body was feeling better. I started, you know, feeling like I could move, I could do things. And it wasn't until maybe about a good six, seven months of juicing that I started seeing a difference. My body started getting bigger. I started feeling stronger. I started getting a lot more fresh air. I'm climbing mountains on the daily. And I'm happy to report that I have little to no more left in my body. Um, I'm still constantly juicing, right? I still feel amazing. Um, and my life has really turned around. I went from thinking I was gonna die, I was desperate, I was in despair, I didn't have friends, I didn't have family like that. You know, I understood though, people were in a pandemic and it was a scary time, but 
I, I was, you know, um, for lack of a better term, because I don't want to use the S word, but I, I wanted to hurt myself and I didn't want to live anymore. And so, you know, I really dug deep inside myself. I prayed to my my beautiful God. Thank you, Christ. You know, I, I prayed really hard and I, I, I said, you know, what? I don't want to do this to myself. I need something. And I started juicing, honestly, and it, it really started to feel good. And I think we all know once you get a taste of hope, you really feel like you could, you could fight, you know, so... I was really blessed to have found juicing and um, now I'm just happy to report that my body feels great and I want to help other people. I want to lead you down this same path. You need to understand that by juicing, you'll, you'll heal your mind, right? You'll heal the mental side because some of the stuff we eat, it is contaminated with chemicals and other things, especially fast food. So you start to heal that mind, right? That nervous system is getting fed, those cells are getting fed, but then you're flushing your body, you're flushing those organs. And once you start to do that, you start to have hope. You start to feel the change. And you, you know, if you're really understanding of what you're dealing with, you don't want to go back to the previous thing that used to kill you or hurt you. And so, you know, I pretty much in this time span had thought over all of these things. I've written an ebook called You Got the Juice Now, and pretty much it gives you recipes on juicing, right? It tells you about juicing, how to juice, where to store your juice, how long you can store your juice. Um, another feature of the book, right, is my story. It goes into complete detail about my mold story, how I almost died. Um, I have some testimonials from friends that have been juicing and trying the juices, and you know, it's changing their lives too. So. Just a good message, man. My story is real, my story is valid, and I'm very, very grateful to God for sparing my life so I could help you today. So, you know, you got the juice now, stay strong, and let's get ready to start doing some juicing. You know what I'm talking about? Um, that's my washer letting me know it's time, but um, I just wanna let you know in the next video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to make pineapple ginger, right? Pineapple will get a good flush going in that body, that ginger, it'll really clean out the body as far as inflammation is concerned. And uh, I add a little bit of honey for myself, you know, just a little bit of honey, make it pop. But in my next video, you're going to understand everything. So let's get over there and I'll see you later. Thank you for listening to my story. My name is Eric Kuto and you got the juice now available everywhere. Peace.